Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today we are headed out to my friend's shop, All Out Motorworks in Long Island. So guys, um, this is a shop that I go to to get a lot of the work done that I usually can't do on my own. Plus, it's a good friend of mine for the last at least 10 to 15 years. Yeah, it's been a minute. But anyways, let's go. No head camera today, no POV, but we're gonna install a few parts on the Q60 and do some maintenance. All right, see you next part. All right, so what we're gonna do now to begin is we're gonna move all these clips to the engine shroud, and that's gonna allow us to get to the bolts that actually connect to the front of here. All right, so the next thing you wanna remove is, you see that little bolt right there? It's like a 10 millimeter right here. You're gonna remove those 10 millimeter. There's one here, and there's one also right here. We're gonna remove that. So we're gonna remove all these 10 millimeter bolts. Bunch of them, they're annoying. Boost the motion should also get electrical um, ratchet. I haven't got one yet. All right, so we got the bumper off, guys. Now, if you guys wanna know some of the stuff here, this is the water, that, this is the water pump for the heat exchanger system. Um, I have the active grill shutters, so this is going to have to um, move this all out the way. We're also going to move this um, bump cushion, and I also have the intelligent cruise control. So all of this stuff is going to have to be removed and removed properly without damaging it. And then we're going to move to the heat exchanger, which is right here. So on my v on T, I didn't have a lot of this stuff. So that's the good part. <laughs> I definitely like this. I definitely like it. But um, we're gonna start taking some of the stuff off and uh, I will update you. Now we have removed the active shutters. We wanna be able to remove this, this, and take off some of these harnesses. Probably gonna have them pull, move the oil cooler out the way too, right? Yeah. So we can actually slide it in. All right. Okay, we're gonna remove the oil cooler and we're just gonna put it to the side over here. We almost there. A few more harnesses and stuff to disconnect. This is for anyone who wants to know. This is the sensor for the heat exchanger coolant. So it flows this way, and for some reason, Infinity has it go from the bottom and come out the top. I don't know why they do that, but that's the way it flows. And then it goes down here, and it goes into the pump, and from the pump to um, the, the air to water intercoolers on top. All right, my car is like has all the tech and stuff so this is why it was so much different levels for you guys who don't have this uh issue you're not gonna really run into stuff like this all right guys so he's going to now drain the oem heat exchanger and it's just gonna start going off and it's gonna fill up in there i mean there's two different ways if you want to do this the way i like to do is clamp the hoses to keep the pressure in the system and then you can connect it that way see now there's less mess and everything like that same thing on this end, you're gonna do that. And then we're gonna be able to remove the, the heat exchanger itself. All right, so now we can pull this out, this whole unit up. Now that's out of the way. Yeah. All right, so it's gonna be a tight fit. All right, so we have a, when you're pushing in guys, you're gonna have to like pull on this plastic piece a little bit to give you some more room, but just keep knocking it in there. It's gonna slide across the condenser. It is really fitting there, really snug and really tight. Um, careful to not to break this harness too. But right now we are pretty much on halfway past there now. Um, what we're gonna do next is connect it and um, yeah, start pre-filling it. All right, so now we'll be putting the bumper back on and uh, he's gonna connect everything. But it wasn't too hard. We was only at this about maybe a half an hour and that's taking our time and we'll be helping him and everything, but yep. Now we're gonna connect everything and go to the bleeding. The way he's doing it is 
he's gonna put the air tool on the reservoir and then allow that to run and pretty much get all the air out of the system. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go to the bleeder valve and open that. And he's gonna connect the air tool and start pumping fluid into the reservoir for the heat exchanger system. Remember guys, this is for the coolant for the engine and this is for the coolant for the heat exchangers that sit here and well, the water air in the coolers that sit here and the heat exchanger that sit here. All right guys, so now we got the coolant of lead through the system. Really good, the bleeder valve was really, very, very helpful. Definitely love the bleeder valve. Didn't have that with the burger tuna and heat exchanger. So I think it's really beneficial that we had that there. But outside of that, um, I'm gonna go drive the car and make sure it's all good and everything is well taken care of. All right guys, so just got back from the drive and the AAM heat exchange is perfectly fine. No leaks, no problems, no issues. It was a really easy, quick install. They did it, did it relatively quick. Remember guys, the AAM heat exchanger is a, a slightly bigger than the AMS heat exchanger. A same mountain points and everything like that. So you get more coolant compared to the AMS heat exchanger. You also get the same amount of surface area. I think it actually has a bit more surface area than the AMS and it's about $200 to $250 cheaper than the AMS unit. So yeah, guys, definitely check them out. And remember, my car is actually one of the most complicated cars to install it on because I have the oil cooler and, a, and, a, and the air shutter, so there's a bit more stuff to get to, but it fit, it slipped in really good, and it's good to go. So shout out to AAM for sponsoring this video. Shout, I'm just super appreciative of companies that want to step up and say, hey, we'll see what you're doing, Bulls. We like your channel. We love what you're doing. We want to be able to be a part of this build. So I'm super thankful for partnering with AAM to take care of this Q60. So outside of that, guys, let me close out the video. So once again, guys, I'm super appreciative. I'm super appreciative of you guys watching. And remember, the reason why I'm doing a lot of this stuff is because I'm starting to build up the modifications before I get tuned. So yeah, that is one of the top requirements, heat exchanger, you always definitely need a heat exchanger. So don't get tuned without one, because then you have to come back and spend money again. Don't spend money twice, doesn't make sense. But outside of that guys, contact me at Boost Motion IG, Facebook, and Boost Motion at gmail.com. Once again, shout out to All Out Motor Works for getting the install, quick install done on the Q60, and shout out to a and for sponsoring this video and giving me this good quality unit heat exchanger. So guys, go have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys, appreciate it. You have a good day. Thank you everybody for watching. Do appreciate you guys, love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also on top of that, if you wanna purchase some Boost Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.